I once met a man who said he could steal, take from anyone. Didn't matter who it was, what it was, or why. If he wanted it, he could get it, no problem. In my line of work, taking from others is mandatory, whether it be their money, their rackets, or their lives. It's all within our boundaries. A guy came up to me one time and asked, how cold-blooded are you that you would take the life from a man without justification, without reason? First off, I admire this son of a bitch for having the balls to ask me something like that. Second off, I've never rubbed anyone out before. It's not my style. And we don't bump off anyone who don't deserve it, who wouldn't do the same to us in a second. If I show up, beat you till you're coughing up your guts in the tile floor you shop in the middle of the day, then you haven't paid on time. Better I show up than a killer. He doesn't need a reason, just the order to do so. He'll come to your door in the middle of the night, middle of the day, doesn't matter. Think of when you feel the safest, the most secure, when you're on vacation with the love of your life, or spending Christmas with the family, that's when he shows up. In this town, the law doesn't lay down the law, we do. What are you thinking about? Tomorrow. Me too. You know I'm ready for this. I'm ready to make the commitment and settle down with you, Margaret. I know. I just worry about my parents tomorrow. I mean, my dad, he wonders about you. You never come to the door when you pick me up at night. And you always bring me home so late. He just worries about what kind of person you are. We can't let him get between us. I want to be with you. I want to take care of you. We, we can't let him stop us. He won't. Just be yourself. Of course. What? Myself, like I always am. Just me. No being Mr. Tough Guy, right? Yeah. No, just myself. OK. Well, then it should be fine. All right, then. Well. You better be taking me home soon. You gonna put some clothes on or am I gonna take you home like that? Turn around. What if I don't? Damn it! Hello? Hey Tom, it's me, Frank. It's not too late, is it? No, no sir, not at all. Good, good. Hey, I want to compliment you about that Smith Brothers thing today. Very impressive. Thought I'd never get my money out of those bastards. Nice job. I had to rough them up a bit, but you know, I'm sure I won't have to do it again. You're probably wondering why I'm calling so late. Uh, no, sir. Well, well, I'll tell you, so you can go ahead and get back to that woman of yours. We got a situation going now. Tomorrow. Big deal. The butcher's men are making a payment. Is that right? Long story short, I need someone to go down to the Hotel Del Foria tomorrow and pick up that case of money and take out the courier. So you got on it. That's why I'm calling. I know you haven't rubbed out a guy before. You got your methods and they've done us well in the past. But this is a special case. And only you and Johnny are people I can trust in this situation. What's, uh, what's Johnny doing? It's not that, Tom. This is big, and I've been thinking that this is the perfect time to bring you up, bring you on board, big time. Big time? That, that sounds great. So you see, I need you to do this thing for me tomorrow. It's you, or it's Johnny. And Johnny, well, you know him. He ain't ready to move up. Yeah, I know about Johnny. So you're going to do this for me? Yeah, I'll take care of it, uh. Who, where, when? Hotel Del Foria, room 201 at noon. Del Foria, 201, noon. Got it. Now, um, who's the, uh, who's the victim? 
Hey, there are no victims in this business. Only people that deserve what they got coming to them. Right. So who's the one? Well, that's where it gets tough, Tommy. He's one of ours. Who? I don't know. You may know him, you may not. Hell, he might even be your best friend. But that doesn't matter. He's one of ours. He's been taken from us. It was when you face this guy. You don't hesitate for a second. You just remember what he did to us. You remember what he did to the family. All right. Good. You still got that gun? Yeah, yeah, I, I still got one. How about I want to sit around here somewhere. Good. I'll call you later if plans change. And one last thing, Tommy. And this is important. Yes, sir. And you call me. The second you get your hands on that money, I'll be at the payphone at Maine and trade. I want to know who this son of a bitch is. Yeah, yes, sir. Good night. Who is that, dearest? Change of plans. A change of plans called you? Frank called. I won't be able to meet your parents tomorrow afternoon. What? No, uh-uh. I've been planning this. I can't, hon. I have to work. What? What do you have to do? What am I supposed to tell them? Well? Tell them I'm sorry. Tell them I'm not a bad person. Let's go. choice. That isn't what I wanted to hear. I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to hear either. Hey, Tom, what'll be the usual? Oh, yeah. Hey, you don't look so good. It shows. Was it this time? Work? Woman? Both. Frank's got me working tomorrow, and I'm supposed to be meeting the folks, so it's a situation. Her folks? What? Yeah, her folks. Did she know about, uh... What, what I do? Yeah, she knows. She doesn't exactly care much for it, but she knows. Do her parents? Hell no. So you're putting her in a situation to lie for you tomorrow? Exactly. But what am I supposed to do? You know how Frank is. Yeah, and what Frank says goes. So give me some advice. Hey, if I had sound advice to give guys, I wouldn't be here to do what Frank does. But what it can give you is... What? Another drink. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Anytime, my friend.
Can I get another bottle of this? Yeah, you finish off this bottle and you want another. I gotta see some green up front. The hell is this? You expect me to break this? Keep it. Keep me in mind for next time. As always. Come here. Come here. You ever seen that broad in here before? Who cares? You're taken, right? Have I ever seen you in here before? Before tonight or before right now? Either. Well, before right now, you've seen me sitting over there all night. Before tonight, I don't think we've met. Not formally. Well, my name's Tom. Tom Capitelli. Hi, Tom. My name's Candace. That's nice. Candace. So what are you drinking, Candace? Because I'm by. I'll have a little of that, if you don't mind. So? So, you married? Married? <laughs> no, not married. Good. Yeah? Talk to me. It's done. Good. Who was it? It was Michael. Michael? My God. Tommy, is that you? I'm, I'm not doing this again, sir. Tommy, is that you? Yeah, who the fuck do you think it is? You sent me to kill him, didn't you? You need to get out of there, Tommy. What? Why? You weren't around last night. Yeah? So we sent Johnny to do the job instead. He's on his way. Get out of there now, Tommy. What? Get out of there, Tommy. 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 Someone at Tommy. 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 Fuck. Tommy, get out of there. Tommy, pick up the phone.